Hello, friend. Bread for your sweetheart? No. Thank you. Why do you speak a curse under your breath? The magician who sold it to me said I must recite it 200 times a day. Since I cannot recite while I sleep, I do it while I work. Though it is hard to get any baking done without my taster. What happened to your taster? Gods bless the regime. They arrested him for not paying the tax on spices. And now I am out of cinnamon. Looks like you need more than a magician. The regime presses even a poor baker so hard. Helping her would be a strike against Ptolemy, however small. And her bread smells delicious. Tester? Yes. I am his. Teta, the baker, asked me to bring you to her. My beautiful Teta. Now I can see her face again before I die. I am weak with hunger and with love. Will you carry me to Teta? If I must. Can you walk? I am too weak even to stand. Really? My strength comes from the beautiful Teta. Does she know you feel this way about her? I have not yet been brave enough to confess my love for her. Also, I am a wanted man. I can see that. You did not pay your taxes. It has nothing to do with taxes. I'll tell you everything when we get... Theta! You brought back my taster! Oh. This man has something to tell you. Well? Teta, I love you. What? And I uncovered a plot to poison the Lady Timehotep, beloved of the High Priest. What? What? Lady Timehotep loves our cakes and bread. For five years we have delivered them to the Great Temple. But yesterday, I overheard the guard say that this week's cakes had been poisoned. Have they been delivered? I... I don't know. Uh, they'd be in the garrison if not. Then I will have to move quickly. This... this is all too much for me. Would you like to sit down? No. I need to think. Of course, love. Hush!
Basket of cakes. I got here in time. Now to make sure they will not poison anyone. Another basket of cakes. These need to be destroyed too. I should check to see if there are any others. Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Mm. She has found a ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. <laughs> I 
I will get the ritual item first, and then hunt down the bats. Strange place for a shop. A Magi? How surprising. Seeking magical runes? Statuettes of uncommon value? Hmm. I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course, I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. An inventory? A talisman in blue faience is listed here. I should keep looking around. Mm, a thing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, she is hiding something. and did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. That is all the items. Now to meet Tamhotep on the road to the pyramids. I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the Pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the Pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. Whoa. This is uncertain country. Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. 
Good idea. Here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Pata's blessing on you. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. Come here! What does this boatman want? Medjay! Come and sit with me. Over. Would you accept me as a traveling companion? I will take a new title. How about Tutmose the Fearsome? I travel alone. Oh, of course. Have you heard about the palace? Crocodiles swarm its halls. Terrible. So many deaths. I am hired to slaughter the beasts, but someone is pouring blood into the water to frenzy them. And you want my help? <laughs> yes, yes. You will shrug off a crocodile's jaws as most men would a gnat's. Kill crocodiles near the palace and I will award you half my fee. What do you say, Magi? I am good at killing crocodiles. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Medjai the mighty, Medjai the majestic, Medjai the... Mm, never mind. There is a hidden cave near the city's northern limit. Meet me there tonight. Wait. Cave rhymes with brave. Miss that one.
Off now. Hey, hold on! <clears throat> Won't escape me. Palace grounds are choked with Sobek's dead. Did you see? In the pool, human body parts used to lure the crocodiles. Oh, what horror! But why? Oh, who knows why evildoers do evil? I came just in time to see two people loading bodies onto boats and riding away. I will put a stop to this mischief. Of course you will. And as your loyal companion, I will... Point you toward the mischief makers. One went toward the palace, and the other was headed for the mummification temple. Here is half my pay, as promised. I will meet you back at my boat. On second thought, Toot Mosaid. Had you ever seen the Queen before? No. Isn't she Had you ever seen the Queen? The scum responsible for the crocodile attacks. Whoa. 